Hey friends, Colin and Shreya Lay here from Lay Roots. Lay Roots is a law firm where we do a great job of asset protection and protecting people from stupid lawsuits. Shreya, today, guess what we got in the mail? What did we get? New vehicle titles. Woo! Yeah, we had them in Shreya's name only. And yeah. I wanted to be in there. I wanted to be in the mix. <laughs> so now we got both names on these titles and I wanted to talk about them and how vehicles come into play oh. with an asset protection plan. Yeah, because yeah. people always ask this question. They do. Before we get to those wonderful answers and explanations, if you have questions about your asset protection plan, protecting mm -hmm. yourself from stupid lawsuits, go ahead and visit livemorecarefree.com. Book a free initial phone chat with us, with her. Again, that is livemorecarefree.com where all your dreams come true. <laughs> so they want to know, do we put our vehicles in our asset protection structure? Yeah, do we put it in the LLC? Do we put it in the trust? How do we no. do it? The answer is no. We say no. With the caveat, unless it is a very expensive Vintage, collector vehicle, yeah. maybe a, an Emery Porsche, 356, something like that, you know, worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's not really a daily driver, but your regular cars that you're driving around, dodging people and other cars, you don't want to put that in your ass protection structure. No. Because it's, it's a very risky activity driving. It's, you know, besides divorces, it's one of the most common lawsuits yeah. we see out there. We see them all the time. And you don't want to do it. It seems like you would want to. You say, okay, I put the The, the thing car causing maybe some liability it, that I love and yeah. use every day. Yeah. And it doesn't work that way because you're driving the car. So an asset protection structure isn't going to protect you from a lawsuit with your vehicle because you're the driver. The driver always gets sued. The only thing you're doing if you do put that vehicle into the structure is you are inviting that lawsuit to come directly at your structure and to go for everything that's inside of it. Yeah. Whereas if it's just in your personal name and they sue you, your assets are still protected from that lawsuit. You haven't invited that lawsuit into the And structure. you don't want to, I mean, so when people try and put their um, vehicle into an LLC, especially, you don't want to mess up your insurance. Like, yeah. is it really a business? Yeah. Car. Yeah, so, your insurance is going to go way up. Yeah. And if you so put it into an LLC. That's another reason why. But, you know, if you're really worried about it, maybe um, revisit your car insurance. Make sure it's yeah. appropriate for what you're doing and the value of the car. And be rest assured that the rest of your assets are safe from a potential car accident lawsuit. Huge. You know, let's say your 16-year-old um, is out there driving with friends, listening to music, getting, being distracted. Getting crazy, smoking doobies. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe just, you know, listening Vaping. to music. Yeah. Okay. Playing with buttons. That wasn't a true story. Keep the vehicles <laughs> out of your structure. Load up on proper insurance, mm -hmm. liability, umbrella. All that good stuff and you yeah. should be set. Right. And start living that carefree life. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Shreya. If you enjoyed this video, crash your finger into that like button. Consider subscribing right there. See you next time.